When did the popular kid's life fall apart in a few seconds? Lost control of his car when he, and his best friend were driving to Taco Bell at night. He came out of it with a fractured collarbone. His friend died on the spot. He was really close with his friend's parents too, and vice versa. He made a few posts on Facebook on how he was an idiot, and how sorry he was. The dead friend's sister, and parents made it very clear that they didn't blame him. It was winter, black eyes, and he was 100% sober. Before he was, like, a stereotypical popular dude, but in the wholesome way. Dropped out of school, and became addicted to painkillers. Don't know what happened to him afterwards, but it was just sad for everyone. When he had an affair with his best friend's mom, dad died a few years before, and they got caught so the mom got arrested for sex with a minor. The friend had to go live with other family with her younger siblings. Edit, it was statutory rape, he was 17. His dad died. It was really lousy, before that he was popular, but also smart, motivated, a great athlete, and actually a great guy and person, as much as you can be till you're 15. Then his dad died right before he was going to have a football game, heart attack in the shower before they were gonna leave for it. We heard about it later, and basically, from there, everything seemed to decline. He became angry as you could expect, and I think looking back you'd expect a decline in everything at first, but he just spiraled deeper, and deeper. We didn't see him for a while, when I did catch up with him later in high school he'd been so into drugs his brain literally seemed fried. It was sad for every reason. Her mom was diagnosed with dozens of brain tumors the beginning of our senior year, and died before Christmas. Girl went from stable, well off, and beautiful to a wreck, then off the map. After that, we lost four students violently, including two sisters stabbed by their stepdad. Staff quit. Pretty much no one in our senior class made it in life. Suicides followed graduation. 1999 was a really tough year for our school. Edit. Thanks for the awards. RIP inbox. This happened in Snoqualmie, Washington aka Twin Peaks. I am doing okay these days, despite a rough life. Can't say the same for the classmates that I did keep up with. Ongoing trauma is that much harder to process when literally everyone around you is grieving too. No one gets a pause long enough between deaths to ever fully heal from any of them. We did our best. 1999 was a messed up year for so many people, and I don't know why. I think about that offspring song Kids Aren't All Right a lot. One kid on school was popular only because he liked to start crap, and bully everyone, so most people were friends with him just to avoid being a victim. One day he tried that on the wrong kid, got beat up so bad to the point he started crying. Honestly I think it was a win for the bully because it gave him a pretty good wake up call, became less of a bully, and is now quite humble. Got hit by a car, went from bully to paraplegic. She was a bully, nothing good to say about her, but that is a rough end. He ended up becoming a second grade teacher, and molested little girls in his class. Now he's in prison for an incredibly long time. Rumor went around that his parents paid a hefty amount to ignore rape allegations, and keep him on the football team. Edit. No it never ended up on the news. I am not sure of the truth behind the rumors because my school likes to keep rumors hushed, and Terry's too many kids at my school to get a single story. Had this cliff that was really dangerous and to keep kids away the genius locals spread around the rumor that it was haunted. Naturally the cool kids wanted to go there like all the time. Once the gang of those supposedly cool kids, four in total, went there, and no one really knows what happened, one kid jumped to his death. The stories of the rest didn't pan out correctly. Each one had a different version. They were high, no one was jailed, but all three were depressed, and eventually spiraled out of control. One OD'd two years later, one was in a car accident, drunk, and one committed suicide. One of the most popular girls in my high school had a blood clot that killed her in her sleep in the middle of the school year. When he hit, and killed a state trooper on the freeway while the trooper was out of his car trying to remove debris from the road. He got made fun of because he wanted to wait to have sex with his new GF, popular girl, so he caved, and did it. Teen pregnancy. Three popular kids went swimming in a quarry. Only two came out. It sucks because the one that died was popular for all the right reasons. He was a genuinely good dude. I was the weird kid, but his locker was right next to mine, and he was friendly every single day to every single person. I don't know that his life really fell apart, because it turns out his home life was terrible all along, but it definitely shifted how people looked at him. And I went to a small school, 
so there weren't too many divisions between people, when you only have 40-something kids in a grade, popular is kind of relative, comma, but, a kid's mom decided to leave her husband, the kid's stepdad, the stepdad, who was known to faculty, and was considered a good guy, stopped by the school to deliver something to his stepson. Cool, cool, the secretary gave him a pass to drop it off at the stepson's class, rather than call him down to the office, the stepdad actually had a gun, and had no idea where the stepson was during that period, so was roaming the halls. Luckily, a friend of the stepson, who knew what an abusive, dangerous guy the stepdad was, happened to be in the office, and alerted everyone. We all went on lockdown. The police came. We were stuck for a couple of hours as they swept the school after arresting the guy. Then, it came out that the kid had been abused for the entire time his mom had been married to the guy, and she only was leaving him after he started hitting her. It was a whole thing. And while everyone had pretty much always liked the kid, he suddenly just had everyone feeling sorry for him. Teachers let him go back, and redo assignments to boost his grade. People gave him stuff to start over. He just kind of got really closed off, and stopped joking around, and only hung out with like three people after that. He was known as the abused kid with a stepdad who was going to shoot up a school, and that's hard to get over. I actually ran into one of the super popular kids at the local bar when I came home from college. She would never give me the time of day in high school, and I for sure thought she didn't even know I existed. But she approached me at the bar, super drunk, and said hey, didn't I go to high school with you? She then proceeded to tell me she wished she had been nicer to more people in high school, and that she has no idea what she's doing with her life. Honestly feels good to know that she's thought about how she treated people back then, not sure if that's the norm or just a weird occasion. Well a super popular cheerleader girl at my school ended up falling downstairs, and broke her back, and got paralyzed, and has to use a wheelchair ever since. Frown so yes that is one example answer. Stairs are not a joke. His parents divorced, and he started acting out. He went from good grades, and clubs to failing, and drugs. The stud quarterback about two years ahead of me has been Narcaned at least half a dozen times. He might be dead now. Not sure if that was a problem for him in high school, but I heard he had a nasty pain pill habit in college, and probably transitioned to heroin from there. He was an only child, and his dad had died when he was two. Was really happy-go-lucky, and he was popular because he was outgoing, supportive, warm, and kind to everybody without fail, and although he was friends with the kind of kids who bullied people, he was the first person to tell them to knock that crap off if he saw it. When we were 16, his mom, who was one of the nicest ladies I ever met in our small town, was crushed to death by a semi-trailer that drifted into her lane. He dropped out of school, he stopped talking to anybody, and he refused to let anyone visit him. I have no idea what became of him. Sorry Jay, I hope your life got better. He FaceTimed his girlfriend, and she screen recorded him putting a baseball bat in his ass, like, in his ass guy on the football team sent a girl's nudes the entire football team, and a good portion of people in my grade, got arrested during class, I haven't seen him since. I heard this one from my brother, resident popular kid, an asshole with fully paid scholarships proceeds to get drunk on Halloween, crash through the French doors of somebody's house, and passes out of their couch while covered in blood, and puke while still dressed like Superman, enter a horrified family finding him after they got home from their own Halloween party, an arrest, and no scholarships. Edit. Okay. Ow. I take a nap, and wake up to nearly 10,000 votes. To answer questions, as far as I know, he did not crash a car into the building. He was blackout drunk, trying to walk home, and stumbled through the window or threw something through it, and then charged through the glass is the way I heard the story. That's where the blood came from. He lost his scholarships because of the arrest. Not quite sure if it impacted his ability to graduate on time or if the incident happened on or near campus. In the fifth grade, our terrible teacher at the time told the entire class that the reason the popular kid acted out was because he didn't get enough attention at home. She did this in front of the entire class, and he left the room sobbing. My entire perspective of him changed that day, and we all already knew that the teacher was a terrible person, but that solidified it in all of our minds. He sent a video of him sucking his own dick to his girlfriend, and then it was leaked to the whole schools. He wrecked his car into a wall, and died on prom night. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more stories delivered to you. Thanks for listening. See you later.